We. Oh, it's this one. Oh, okay. This used to always there be spinning in the original. I wonder why it isn't. Yeah. Scary monkey time, I don't like it. It is scary monkey time. I had a thought. Why do you think they call him cool. Donkey Kong? Um, well, I know the Kong part. Well, I'm pretty sure the Kong part is because King Kong. No, I think it's something else. I was thinking about it earlier because I've heard the old story that um, apparently they want they called him Donkey because oh. they wanted him to be stubborn. Okay. And I thought about it a bit today, and um, he's King Monkey. They combined Don and Monkey. Oh. Donkey. I think I'm right. I think you might be right as well. Like, that makes... Much more sense than naming him after another animal. Yeah. He's the Don Monkey. Very named by Japanese people who didn't know what the English word for donkey was. Because they were making a game about monkeys, not donkeys. Yeah. But he's a gorilla. Oh, I don't care. Okay. Would you fly away with Crash Bandicoot on his green UFO? Yes. I don't know if I'd do it with this Crash. Take Crash, take me with you. To the Umpa Wumpa Islands. That's all they're called. Oh. They're just called the Wumpa Islands. Oh. God, don't you know anything about the law? The law. But, like, I don't care about games like... Oh. I don't care about the law in games like Dark Souls and stuff. And I don't know why I find that really boring. Where they just like add item descriptions everywhere, and I'm like, I don't really care about that. But then like Gungeon did it in pretty much exactly the same way, and I was like, oh, I like the Gungeon one. Yeah, I wonder. Maybe it's just that the Gungeon one is more fun. Oh, it could be. Zanzibar, forgive me. It just doesn't do much for me, you know. <laughs> ah. You've seen that. You've seen that tweet, haven't you? I don't. I don't think I have. Oh man, that like since Elden Ring came out, everyone was. I saw this tweet that got popular where someone was like. You know, I'm glad the Souls games revolutionised storytelling, so now instead of plots, we can just have people who die and say, Zanzibar, forgive me, and someone will make a YouTube video about it. <laughs> about why it's important and yeah. te tell you the war and... But I saw a screenshot recently of all these people die, all these NPCs dying in Dark Souls that are completely optional, and they all say it. They all go like, Bartholomew, f forgive me, oh, and die. It's... Every single one says name. Please forgive me and dies. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, what have they revolutionised? They've just... Well, that's the joke. Yeah. Congrats, you got it. I got the joke, everyone. That's oh, look, it's spinning me, 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 whoa. Well, that's crazy. It should stop when you get here, but I, I used to like that it spun you on the way over. Yeah, it's a nice little bit of polish. Like, this is a moving platform in every regard. Yeah. What's wrong with that, right? Movement's not allowed in modern games, I guess. Everything has to just stand still and tell you its story. Every, everything has to stand still and say, Zanzibar, forgive me. I'm not gonna cook it, but I'll order it from Zanzibar! <laughs> it's, it's, it's alright, it's not a song about you, I promise. Not this time. I learned my lesson. <laughs> I don't want to know what this lesson is. Don't fuck dogs. Oh, I already knew that lesson. Well, some of us to learn it the hard way. I don't like that statue. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Hang on a sec. Hello, B. It's alright. It's okay. alright. It's alright. We've got to do the big funny YouTuber screams. I'm not doing it because it's funny. I'm doing it because I'm fucked off. <laughs> I'm not the sort of person who laughs at a scream, you know? Yeah. I, I hear a scream, I get concerned. I get anxious. It makes me flat. It makes my anxiety spike. I don't like it. Yeah. But sometimes you can't help but get mad at things. It is true. Like Crash Bindle Boot. Fuck. Oh! What? You can do that! What? I, I feel like that should um, hit him in the face and knock him out if you've managed to work that out. Wow, I didn't know that was a thing. No. Jam. Hey, it's severed head. Wow. Oh, that looks fun. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, I know where I am in the level. These were on the other side of that pit. Whoa, it's my friend. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> you can do it, buddy. Oh, yeah, there, there they are. There's the possums. There's the oppose. The opposing team. What the fuck oh. was that? I can't tell where that yeah. is. Oh, we have to do it again. The lives are making this very fun. Yeah. Oh, God, why are Wiki so bad now? They're just full of ads. And they are the. There's the another one. one. Fuck off. I clicked the X and it popped up with an ad. And another ad, a bigger one, appeared under it for Atomic Heart. I don't know what the fuck that is. Piss off. Why doesn't the close button work? Install ad block. Do it. Like, yeah. everyone, install ad block. I don't care what your favorite YouTubers say. Fuck them. 
It's not worth it. If you actually want to support them, YouTube Premium's better anyway. No, don't support that. That supports ads in another way. Just get Adblock. Cut out the middleman. Fuck them. I don't care. I support Adblock fully. This oh. is ridiculous. The internet's unusable. I'm trying to Google a thing about a game. This info's been on the internet for 30 years and it's impossible to read. Hey, can I have the controller? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I don't want to do it anymore. Okay. Let's just play the levels. Yeah, all right. We've seen that level. It's not fair. We're already skipping the cutscenes. Let's just play the levels. But look, we've done Cold Hard Crash. We've done Ruination. It was really tough. Uh, yeah. Three seconds. Do you know what? Let's try that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we won't try that again. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, let's not speed run that. Yeah. Let's, let's play the level as intended. But we've never done one, which is why I thought I'd have a go at it. No, it's fair. I kind of forgot that you got the um, the golden boxes to give you extra seconds. Yeah. How do you do this again? How do you do this again? How do you do it again? Like that. Oh. Oh, dear. If you chain a bunch of enemies in a hit together like that, you get a free life. Okay. So, it's so if you hit one into five others, you get a life. And five come out of these beehives. Oh. Killing them I've... doesn't count. You have to chain the hit. You have to chain the hit. Okay. Neat, isn't it? It is. It is neat, yeah. Also, doesn't the dig look better in the original where they stretch the texture up? I, I like this dig better. N oh, no. Yeah. Like, it looks a little bit like feces. No, the other one looks good because it's how, like, a Bugs Bunny cartoon would draw it. It is, yeah. Bugs would do it that way. That's why I like it because that's actually how Looney Tunes would do something like that. Crash would be a ride at home with Bugs Bunny. Well, he was supposed to have a cartoon. The original Crash was oh. supposed to have an animated opening, like a Looney Tunes thing. It had a theme song and stuff. Oh, wow. Oh, I'd, I'd love that. Back when I think this was back when he was still Willy the Wombat. Um. Oh. Oh, fuck you. See? <laughs> <laughs> he survived. Oof. Oh. <laughs> okay. That man died and became Wumpers. I like it. Well, that's what'll happen to all of us. Okay, I bet people have been saying this in the comments. Mm -hmm. That these nitros aren't bouncing. No, that. And you get to go to a secret warp up there. Okay. But I've done that before and we'll just play that in a minute. I hate that. That's just more inconsistency. I get it's but a even, secret. Yeah, but even with what I was saying before about like how you make how you should make them wobble and not actually change like a full square tile. Yeah. Like you could still do that. That would still work just fine. If they're not wobbling around, that still is completely oh. okay. Yeah, those two are crooked over there. Oh, it's because they're clipping into each other. Oh. Like that other thing we saw yeah. before. Okay. It's very very good game. Later, beta. Ha <laughs> ha, we. Ah! That was so... <laughs> what actually killed me? I don't know. I think we're on engine. Yeah, okay. Let's go. So I'm assuming the um, the nitro path was what got you the purple gem. Yeah, because we only needed one more colored gem. Yeah. We can go play that level after engine. Yeah, all right. If you want. Like, we can play all those levels. I'm not against playing them. New grounds! <gasps> wow! Everything, everyone. Yeah, this is the level where you throw wumpers for some reason. Yeah. I never really got it. I, I don't understand. Why can I do this? I don't know. It's kind of <laughs> stupid. One of the things that is bad about this is for some reason you can walk into these curves and get stuck here. Look. Oh, why? For fun, I don't know. Just like, hey, We've no. got to have the fight where Crash throws the Wumpers. What's the point of him collecting them otherwise? He's been collecting them, getting free lives. I assumed he was eating them the whole time. Yeah, where, yeah he is. Where, where's he getting them from now? He eats them. That's what he does. Ooh. They're a little harder to see in this one. Yeah, they should be a little bit brighter. They, they stood out more in the original. Like make, Those little uh, aiming sights. Yeah, make them like a light source or something. Just something brighter that doesn't blend in. What I like is I like to make things glow upwards. Yeah. Okay, good. The platforms come back. Yes! Wait. Take that, new grounds. Oh, I was always a congregate boy. <laughs> I consistently like the robot enemy designs. I feel like Toys for Bob might just be bad at living organisms. Yeah. They just they just don't they're not very good at art direction. The robots all look better in the original. Trivial pursuit. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what it was called. <laughs> He's, uh, he's only got the green pieces. He's really good at that category. It's his favourite song. 
green pieces. Oh, mean green sleeves, sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh, green pieces, what's fucking wrong with it? I love green pieces. <laughs> green sleeves, that's the thing. I learned about that song from, I knew this, I'd heard the song, but I learned its name from Pepper Ann, because there was a whole episode where they just kept using it. Because it's royalty free, I guess. Oh, well, they were paid to use it or something. Like it's royalty free. Who's gonna pay them to use classical music? That's ah! true. Oh. I still really like this game. It's just got flaws, right? Yeah. It's got flaws, and they're really annoying to play on a camera. Yeah, like, if, if you're doing this in your own time. It's still annoying. It's still annoying, but. <laughs> I, I know, I did it. But like, it doesn't feel like you're wasting other people's time. Oh, that's the worst thing about recording on YouTube, is like. It wastes everyone who's watching time, and that's why we cut it out. But it wastes our time twice, because we have to edit it. Yeah. And it's annoying. He does the screen. <laughs> he does. Yeah, like, voice acting like that in games I get behind, I just... I have no problem with that. I don't want Link to start talking at me. Yeah. Like, Zelda telling me all The this... Zelda cutscene's the fucking worst. Yeah. It's like, I don't care. I can read this faster than you can say it. I can, and in a better voice. My voice. I never understood why people insist on using voice British voice actors and not getting British people from the same place to be relatives. Like, yeah. why does why does Zelda have a different accent to her family and the rest of her kingdom? They should sound like her. Yeah, they they should all sound the same. That's where accents come from. You know, you wouldn't make something based in Texas and have everyone sound like they're from like. Like India or something. <laughs> India, yeah. Oh, you should play this. Okay. Oh, oh, we're flying. You got a jetpack. This is what they advertise the game with. Oh, this is weird. It is weird. I think I've got the controls now, but... Yeah, it's odd. Yeah. Probably worth getting oh. the crates just so you can get some practice moving in. Yeah. And they show that, that box that you can't break floating up. They made it unbreakable, so you had to watch it go up. Yeah. It's very clever. There's lots of very clever things in this game, and I just think Vicarious Visions didn't add much. Yeah, like, they could have fixed problems and well, everything. Toys for Bob, I've, I, I, it's one of the two. It's like, Toys for Bob did Crash 4, and I really like Crash 4, even though it's got some flaws. Crash floor. It's got cr crash flaws. It's got crash flaws. It's awkward. I think Toys for Bob, like, handled the switch port or something, but Vicarious Visions did everything else. Okay. It's something weird like that. It's why it's why I'm not entirely sure who did it. Yeah. I looked it up once and swiftly forgot. Naughty Dog, though. Oh. Na Naughty Dog are the fucking bee's knees, man. They went. A stop! Stop making crap games. Yeah. Please. Like, you got. You guys are so good. Stop making like Uncharted or whatever you're making now. Please don't touch the red ones. What? Ah. That's a red I, one. I thought that was further away. Oh, he's you're, trying to hug you. You're electric. Go away. Get in the fire. I think that's what you have to do. Oh. <laughs> oh, good, and it's a, ooh. Oh. Ooh, careful of those. Okay, go under them, under the sea. Line yourself up with that sea and go under the cables. Under the sea. Under the sea. Don't sing about that end, though. <laughs> <laughs> go, 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 go. I do hope those things look different enough, like if you're colorblind. I've never really thought about it. Oh, that's true, yeah. I think they probably do. If we grayscale it, it probably looks different enough. Ooh. I know that's not all color blindness, but hell. Yeah. It at least gives us something to go on. Are there, uh, like, color blind options? Don't know. Never looked. I know that to play oh, the wait. game, no. they tell you you have to agree with the terms. Yeah, which... But they don't give you the terms. They tell you you have to go online and read them. So it's like they're giving you terms that you can't even agree to because you that's... might not have an internet connection. It's really bad. Like, and, I, I, and, like, I read them and I said I don't agree to that. And here I am playing it. Fight me. No, but by playing it, you are agreeing. I'm not. I told you I'm not. You I've got it on video. I did not agree to those terms. I'm playing your game. By, Fight me. By using our website, you agree to Those things don't hold condition. up in court anyway. I imagine they wouldn't because it's like, what terms did I agree to? There's, I don't freaking know. There's been a lot of court cases lately where people have been like, yes. you know, Oh, but, he, but the Apple user agreement clearly states and the court's just like, nobody reads those things. Yeah, like... If South Park's done an episode on it... Then you know it's cool. You know something was wrong and nobody's changed jack shit. You did it. it. It's a really bizarre mechanic. Isn't it? Luckily yeah. there's only a couple of levels of this. We did it. Like, but the main problem is you're thinking of it as playing as Crash. You've spent the whole game playing as Crash. Yeah, <laughs> it is strange to have to switch you up yeah. like that. I, I agree. Yeah, and then they're like, jump is forward. 
Crouch is back and forward is up. It's like what? <laughs> it's why Crash. Um, it's why Crash Three is the worst Crash. It's it's the whole game of that. Yeah. You know, I don't think that's very. Um, I don't think that's very controversial to say. Mechanically, this is the best Crash. Crash One is very good, but very hard. It's very pure, very hard. Crash Three. It is. It's just a pure platformer. Crash Three is the the gimmick Crash, and none of the gimmicks are very good. Yeah. I liked them as a kid. Because I, I thought all the crashes were like that. It was my first one. But going back to older crashes, even as a kid, I was like, oh, this is way better. I even like these levels. People hate the dark levels. The the level in, the dark level in Crash 1 is the worst. It's a lot it's a lot worse than this one. Mm. I still like them. For as much as I love Sonic Adventure 1. It's not very good, is it? It's not very good. And it's like almost entirely gimmicks. Yeah. And like you play it and you're like, it's not as good as Sonic 1. Yeah. Like I'd rather play Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Because yeah, like... that's an actually well-designed game. But I still like it. Yeah. It seems easier than the other um, dark level with these glowflies. Yeah, it does a little, doesn't it? You're already at the end. Oh. Oh yeah, the edges of that kill you. I assume they would, because they look like uh, the robot from the other level. Yeah, it's clear, but that is annoying. <laughs> yeah. It, it will kill me. So they do this in a lot of Crash games. You have to get all the coloured gems in like the last level to get the secret path. Oh, so this is just a path that contains every gem. Yeah, there's every coloured gem platform. Okay. I mean, that's, that's pretty neat. And if you come if you come this way and you don't have all the gems, eventually you just have to kill yourself and go back to that original checkpoint. I was gonna say it, it seemed yep. that way. Yep. Don't go this way if you don't have them all. It's gonna be mean if you're playing it for the first time. Like, say you've only got like the blue one. It's like. Well, then oh. you find out, don't you? Yeah. It's like oh. Ooh. Oh. Thank God for that mask. Thank you, Eugene Necker. Thanks, Dream. That's what the point of the fad is. Whoops. Well <laughs> For making fun of him for being overweight once. Yeah, and it's like, he's not even <laughs> overweight anymore. <laughs> no, but it's obvious why he isn't. He didn't want to do a face reveal while he was chunky. No. It's... And like, I don't know why people didn't cancel him for fat shaming with that sort of attitude. Oh, oh don't. I hate that. Yeah, but you know what I mean? I, I, I know what you mean. Like, props to him for losing all that weight. I have nothing like, against him yeah. losing weight. I just think it's funny how obvious the reason is. Mm. You know, all his friends aren't fat and and he is like it's wow i wonder why you don't want to show your face fat ugly man yeah it's like i get it if you feel ugly that makes sense if he wanted to lose weight that's fine but i feel like he did it because his fans expected him not to be a chubster yeah oh i want dream to be a bishy it's like yeah of course you do yeah, most people want things they like to be yeah. fuckable, because like, humans are really simple like that. Yeah, like, and I'm sure his haters wanted him to be fat so they could make fun of him for being fat. Well, like, the problem is he was just obviously self-conscious about it, so it just gave people ammo. So I can see again why you'd want to stop that. Yeah. But also, you could just, like, realise it's not that big a deal. True, and then, like, to, to his fans, it's like, people are allowed to be fat. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, but the fucking fat shaming thing, I hear that so often. What's just, that? Just like, you know, if you decide that you want to lose weight because you're fat, then that's fat shame. No, it's called being healthy. Oh, come on. That's mean. Yeah. Yeah, it's like people want to lose weight, then they want to lose weight, and it's got nothing to do with fat shaming. It's to do with what they want. You should want to be healthy. You can be overweight and a healthy overweight, but you can be a really unhealthy overweight. Like, a little overweight's fine. There's some cities in America that are trying to push for the cities being walkable because it's like impossible to get anywhere in America if you can't drive. Yeah. And people are just like... The roads are always backed up, aren't they? Yeah. And people are just like, that's fat shaming. That's fat phobic. Yeah, you, you can't do that. Like, fat people can't walk that far. Yeah, they can. And, and like, they should. Yeah. It's like, they can and they should and it'll get easier the more they do it. And if they can't, like... <laughs> Do you know what walkable means? It means you can also push your wheelchair there yeah. easier. It's just better, you yeah, fucking... This, people, well, people want to be mad at things. Yeah. And like, we're, we're no better. We're complaining about yeah, it. Yeah, and we're complaining about people complaining. It's very meta. Very meta. But no, I agree. It's ridiculous. Like, you can't do anything anymore. It's all bad. Yeah. You can't want to better yourself or you're a bigot. Yeah, you... What do you mean better? You're trying to say fat people are less good? Well, they're less healthy. That's true. I'm a little fat. Yeah. Before anyone gets up in my business, I'm a little fat. Charlotte's fatter than me. Mm -hmm. We both think that this is stupid. What? That's what? stupid. That is stupid. We're almost there, though. Ooh. 
Yeah, pur purple is the last that one. That might just be it, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Are we on Cortex? I think we're on Cortex. Well, let's go up there. Oh. We've got some extra levels we haven't finished. <gasps> oh. Oh, it's showing us the end cutscene. Oh, damn. I didn't think it would. Yeah, this is what Embryo does with the gems. Okay. Because he doesn't trust Cortex. Ah. If you get the crystals, Cortex wins to power his space station. If you get all the gems, Embryo does this. Okay, that, that's interesting. And then that thing falls, and that's the start of Crash 3. It breaks open that temple. Oh, yeah. That's what falls. That's cool. Let's do it. Let's fight the Cortex. I think you should fight Cortex. You've never fought him before. But he's in a, I'm in a jetpack. Damage his jetpack to keep him from escaping. Oh, he's in one as well, but he knows how it works. I'm going to his head explodes. Up my bum. Defeat Cortex before he escapes to the space station. Okay. It's kind of cool. This is kind of cool. I think this is cooler than the other spe the other jetpack levels, honestly. Yeah. Get out of it. Thank you for telling me that you were afraid that I was too close. Yeah, he starts swearing at you or yeah. something. <laughs> He's really not difficult, though. Oh, I boot me head. Get out of here. The problem is they're expecting oh you to struggle the control in 3D space a lot more. Because it's an early 3D game. Yeah. But it's actually, look, you're done. There you are. That was easier than the level. All the other boss fights in the game. There he goes. And Cortex had a really disappointing uh, boss fight in the first one as well. Wow, he's still up there. That's because that's the crystal ending. He's still up there. Mm. What is it with evil scientists in video games and having a... Uh... What is it with pigs in video games? Such as... for the list of evil pigs in video games. You're welcome. <laughs>